Blades made it up? Is that even a verb? You are clearly still feeling better if you are calling me on my grammar. Yeah, well, I haven't blacked out since I got the serum. No, I'm relieved. I'm so relieved I feel as festive as you look. Yes, yes, I am trying. Not that I'm not happy, but you know how weddings are. And now I show up almost 30 by myself. So, uh, you're overcompensating? Totally. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I've been so caught up with my mom that I haven't always been there for my dad. And so I just, I want this to be amazing for everyone. I wish you could go with me. Yeah, I mean, there might be a few obstacles with that. Oh, you mean the whole... Yeah, they run the pigs in a blanket and I just kind of go... <laughs> yeah, and it would be kind of difficult to explain the whole dead thing. Mm -hmm. Although, you could go as Vincent Zelansky. Zelansky? <laughs> yes, I had this huge crush on him in kindergarten. Okay, where is this Zelansky from? Somewhere that I have no relatives. Denver? Denver, so I'd probably be a skier. When you aren't busy saving lives in the ER. I like the sound of my Denver life. <laughs> uh, well, I, I came here because um, I have another case for you. Ah, it is always work, work, work with you, Zelansky. Yeah, well, look, I was out walking, and uh, I saw this guy heading into his brownstone, but he reeked of blood. Was he injured? No, he didn't seem to be, but the smell it was coming from his briefcase as well. And the thing is, he was nervous, you know? He was having trouble putting his keys in the door. His heart was racing. Pat, I've got the perfect shoes. Oh, uh, great. Yes, I'm just going to bring out the party favors. Hey, um, here's his address for what it's worth. It's great seeing you, Dr. Zelansky. Go, Bryce made it up. Okay. Bye. Bye. So I'm your boyfriend now. I did not say boyfriend. She misinterpreted. And this is starting to become a habit. So, sounds like I'm going to a wedding. Uh, that was just a dumb reflex. It's okay, you don't have to explain. No, I'm gonna get out of it. I'm gonna tell them at the rehearsal dinner tonight. Which I have to get ready for. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, um, we found a body. Yeah, there was a guy in a steam room. You know, uh, maybe you don't have to get out of it. The wedding? You know what, you might be right. Mr. Blood on his hands is married to a matchmaker. She said she'd find me someone for the wedding. She doesn't realize that I am trying to arrest her husband for murder. Okay, maybe I could go with you. Everyone thinks I'm coming anyway. Vincent, I was kidding before. But I'm not. Uh, look, I did a test today. It wasn't a scientific test, but in med school you learn that if a patient says that they feel better, then they're usually right doesn't matter what the test shows. And I feel better. Much better. But are you gonna risk all of that because I don't want to go to a wedding alone? It doesn't feel like a risk. Vincent, there are gonna be 150 people there. Drunk people. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt anyone. No, no. I'm... I'm just concerned about you. What if you're exposed? I mean, let's say you are better. What about your identity? You have been working for years to fly under the radar and then you're gonna introduce yourself to a bunch of people from all over the place. And what about my dad? You're gonna talk to him about your fake life in Denver and, and then what? And you're Vincent Zelansky to him forever. It's not fair to you. I can handle being Vincent Zelansky. Forever. But if 
anything bad ever happened to you because I didn't want to go to a wedding alone, I would never be able to forgive myself. Thank you, but I cannot let you do this for me. Okay.